Hey everybody, how's it going? Happy Saturday. Um, not much going on today. I went garage sailing with Dennis. I took a little bit of money with me, not a lot. Um, I just tried cutting a board outside with my Milwaukee Fuel 12 volt, and this blade is poop. So I gotta buy. I'm gonna buy a Diablo blade. This is uh, supposed to be carbide, but it cuts like shit. You'd be lucky if you cut through a piece of paper. I couldn't cut through this board this way before the battery runs out. I would make it halfway before I could get through it. That tells you how dead this is. And this is some 5 and 3 eighths, some weird-ass size with a 10-millimeter hole in the middle. Yeah, I had fun finding that. So I... Uh, Went to one garage sale, and uh, he has some box of all mixed tools where I got, like, this this wrench. Uh, let see, this wrench, a couple of these, a couple wrenches and stuff in there. And uh, so I just threw them in there for now. You could tell because the box was wet. Seven eighths and a 25, 30 seconds. Or... It's a 25 millimeter by 22 millimeter. Oh, 20 by 22. That's weird. Not supposed to rain today, but guess what it's doing outside? Yeah, freaking raining. Um, what else was in that box were these. Isn't that cute? Look at that cute little pipe wrench. This is what really caught my eye. This is a cute little shit. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was cool. These are basically the same. This one and this one. They're made by two different companies. Um, you can kind of tell because this has, this is a Trimo and this is a Homo. No, this is a Trimo. This is, a, I can't read it. Something New York. James, Jamestown, New York. Something made in Jamestown, New York. It's 10 inch. Uh, tool steel. But anyways, and then this, this square, this square headed one. For Polish people, if you got square nuts, there you go. So, those were in the box, and I gave the box to the Amish because I had to go up to the Amish and I had to get some one by sixes to cap off the end of the thing I'm building out there. So, and then while I was at it, I seen this shelf, and I was like, I told my buddy, I said, you know what that is, right? I said, you know how old this shelf is? He glanced at it. Oh, my God, it's heavy. Oh, Jesus Christ, I almost dropped it. This is heavy. And, um, yeah, how can you tell how old these are? When you look back here at the back side of these and you see screws like that, it tells you how old this shit is. When you see those type of screws. Now, there's no date on it. Thank God they didn't paint it. But there's the top of it. And this this is heavy. It's heavier than I thought it was by one-handed. So this is going to be left just the way it is. And um, it's going to be put into the addition somehow, somewheres. So it'll be holding, I don't know, something. Going to hold something. I don't know what. But what I'm thinking is, I just missed buying a microwave today for $20. All right, here comes the, here comes the coloring book time. All right, so in the wall, right, I'm going to have my bathroom is here. This is the rest of the building, the addition. So this will be the closed-in part and then a doorway going to the big patio area over here um so when you walk through the opening what quit your freaking wine and i just gave you some kitty food you just got some so when you walk through there um you walk through and then here's now uh, the wall's going to be well all the way over here actually so here's the toilet here's the shower the sink can be wherever i put the sink and then this wall will tell me how much room I've got. And I wanted to put 
my my little refrigerator in there um though maybe a microwave some countertop maybe a sink <laughs> i don't know i don't know what is what is dripping Oh, it's hitting this. Not to say, I don't have no damn roof leak. The water is dripping off. It's hitting that plastic. Oh, yep, there's a drip right on my hand. Drip, drip. All right. Okay, we're good. All right. Yeah, every time I drive the zero turn in and out of here, um, it skids this stuff around. All right. That's enough of that scare tactics. Oh, and I bought another roof rake for five bucks. So my roof rake's got wheels on it, so it doesn't hurt my solar panels. This roof rake is absolutely in terrific condition with no wheels. But the reason why I bought it, more bars. So I've got more bars to reach higher on my roof. That's why I wanted it. Um, these roof aluminum rakes are kind of expensive and for five dollars you got to be stupid not to buy that for five dollars so I got that um, yeah god these are cute what a cute little wrench anyways um, yeah so that's kind of like what I'm thinking about doing in there is the bathroom and you know the sink actually can be put on the back side of the wall and this way, I can have it kind of ducted in a little bit so the heat, you know, because this won't be heated out here. But if I put a sink against the wall and then have the pipes come up through like a channel, a ductwork, so the heat could flow up into it, then I'll be okay. But um, what the hell else is going on now? All right. So I talked about that stupid thing, which is kind of cool. And it wasn't it's not supposed to rain today. It ain't supposed to rain. And what the hell do you think it's been doing all day? Raining. It's bullshit. So I just got done putting this fascia board up right here. I just did that one all the way down the line. And yeah, so I got three of those. So that is pretty much done. I got to put some screen under the bottom. I just got to cut that end off back there. And what you didn't see, I don't think I recorded all this, but I had to move this. I had to reconfigure all of this because this board went to the inside of that 2x6, and I had to move it over to line everything up the way it's supposed to be. So, yeah, see that stupid water right there is what's dripping down and then dumping underneath the garage. For now, it'll be done soon. So this is actually... The other side of my my shit so i tip the seams up so no water can get in there oh good thing i did it's wet so now i can shove a two by two by four in here and make a wall build a wall here instead of trying to tie into this somehow so this would be all nice and buttoned up nice and all the tin i ripped off i threw it right there against the side of the house and to stop water from coming in i um i foamed this so I got foam down in there, and she works. When it came out this morning, the foam was like this, way the hell up here. I'm like, holy shit. So I started cutting the foam out, and it was like a goddamn muffin top. As soon as I cut the muffin top off, I stuck my fingers in to grab another chunk. It was all mush inside. I was pissed. My fingers were covered in that stinky shit. I had to use acetone to get it off. And then the muffin top I cut off, I shoved it back down in there. And uh, because the water level will actually come up in there. So I sealed that all off for now. I left this lid open so it can breathe. And I did the same thing over there on that one. I didn't foam it, I siliconed it. But, and this here, I'm going to get two 45s and I'm going to just jog it over cause, so it misses this. And that is just going to be stuck above here to vent it out. So, 
because my ceiling is actually going to be right across here. Maybe. We'll see. I might just leave an open ceiling like this. Maybe just put some foam insulation up on there and say, screw it. You know? But I had to make my little doorway through here so I could finish this. And in here, I stamped, you can't see it that good, but it says, built July 2022, it says on there. You might read it if it got wetter. I don't know if you can probably see it now. Yeah, I jumped ahead a month, so I forgot it was June. Oh, well. It should be done by July. <laughs> so I actually have a shitload of this. Um, I'm trying to figure out why I bought so much. I was thinking I was enclosing the whole freaking building, I guess. But I can use this on the ceiling. And maybe just on the ceiling and go from there. What do you think of that, Junior, huh? You smell that? What do you think? You like it? Yeah, that's not a bite bite toy either. You know bite that. He's finding it very interesting. He's like, where did this come from? It smells weird. It smells like grandma. Yeah, I don't know what year that's from, but it's uh I'm, I, it doesn't look like it's factory built. It looks like somebody built it at home. I, I don't know. Anyways, that's my plan. Other than that, not much going on. I got wet feet now because I wear mesh sneakers. So one drop of water goes right through these into my socks. Yes, I have socks on today. Boy, he's really interested in that. But we had fun cruising around, you know. Um, stopped at the store. I bought one $5 lottery ticket. I don't usually buy them. Every now and then I'm like, eh, we'll see what happens. So I bought one, a five, and it was a winner for 15. So basically I won 10. And I gave it to Dennis for gas. So, you know, I said, here, keep it. Put it in your gas tank. So why not? I mean, we're using his car to go garage sailing in while mine's just sitting here. And um, another thing is, he takes his garbage down to the transfer station down in Utica, and they charge $2 a bag, right? Well, I just got my garbage bill today, and they charge me for an extra can is $1.25 for an extra garbage can. So if I put two cans out there, a recycle and a garbage, I'm okay. But if I put recycle garbage in my garage, spit it out, spit it out. What is that? You don't want that. What should we do in plastic? And um, here, Junior, you want something to chew on? Here. I'll find you something. Yeah, they charged me $1.25 for an extra can. So, here, you can have a zip tie. Yeah, I know you like zip ties. He loves them. He'll sit there and just bite it into pieces. So now I'm thinking, it's like, damn. You know... $93, I think it is, for garbage for three months. So, you know, I'm running on the edge of being broke every freaking minute of the day. And, uh, yeah. So, what I did was, what, what I'm thinking of is trying to figure out how much garbage I have and how many bags and this, this, and that. And then, like, you know, one week, he'll do the garbage. Next week, I'll do the garbage. You know, so so we switch off using each other's car. And then, uh, you know, if I get one of those big contractor garbage bags, I could probably get everything in a couple bags. You know, I usually put out two bags a week and a lot of cardboard. But, yeah. I don't know. I figured it out. I got to start thinking of ways of saving money. But um, this is almost paid off, and that one is paid off. I've got just glass on that one. I've got full comp and collision, all that shit on this one, which doesn't really need it. And um, so Allstate, 
I was paying 93 a month for two cars. Now, nobody's got tickets. We're all over a certain age. You know, I'm a professional truck driver with over a million safe miles. And they don't care about any of that shit. And uh, so it's 110. Well, I did an online one with Progressive. Now, it says 50 a month. So now I'm kind of going, I'm going to call Progressive and I'm going to ask him, is this really true? Is the insurance on both of these cars $50 a month? They're basically cheap cars. They're, they're just cheap throwaway cars. I mean, this it ain't a Cadillac. I mean, it's a Chevy Spark, the cheapest piece of shit they made. And this was Scion's cheapest vehicle that they made, but that's 16 grand. And this is... I don't even know what I paid for that. I traded my Cadillac. I down-traded from my Cadillac down to this. So anyways, I mean, this only has 28,000 miles on it. I got 50-something thousand on mine. This car hardly ever gets driven. I think it doesn't even get driven 3,000 miles a year. So anyways, I'm going to be calling them up because I want to see, you know, you ever see that commercial about auto insurance, O-T-T-O? They're just an insurance broker, basically. They just refer you. They get all your information, and they send it to everybody and God out there. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting all these freaking quotes from State Farm and this and that and Joe Blow's insurance company. And I'm like, what the freaking hell? But um, the progressive one kind of stood out. I'm like, okay, either this is some introductory offer. and What the hell did they say? Introductory offer? Or... Or is real. Because the Allstate person I deal with um, that I've known forever, she said, the rates are all going to go up. And I said, well, of course. I said, they never go freaking down. My snail pulled out of here. What happened? All the concrete moved down there. That's right. So, anyhow, I forgot I left the plastic in. When I poured the concrete down, I left the plastic in, and it somehow it buckled this. Oh, and I got this for 10 bucks. Another pulley. I thought this was kind of cool. You know, I like the I like the framework. It says um H290 H H395. I don't know what that is. Maybe some of you guys know what H395 is or 295. Wait, god damn it. H235. God damn it. I'm a freaking cross-eyed today. So it's kind of a cool pulley. I really wasn't planning on buying a stupid pulley today, but, I mean, I just like this. The, the framework of it is, is kind of unusual. I don't know. And it works. You know, she turns. Dennis says, what, are you going to start collecting pulleys? I'm like, I don't know. I said, I just kind of think they're kind of cool, you know? This one's all wood, but but this one's kind of heavy duty or Maybe I will. Maybe I'll start collecting pulleys. Who the hell knows? I don't know. I want to finish my garage first. I know that. All right. Well, I've been kind of figuring out my expenses, what I got in there. I got my cash save spot, and... It's it's holding up okay because I've been spending money on, you know, the Amish wood. You see the stuff coming in, the Amish wood. And, of course, a, a little tiny bit here and there, you know. But, and I got to get one of these. It's $15 for that. But I'll wait till I get money in my checking account because I don't even have $15 to buy a new one of these in my checking account. I got 12 bucks. Woohoo! I'm rich. So anyhow, um, I guess that's that. And uh, what do you think? Is that it? Are we done yapping? Are we done talking? Are we? Huh? We done talking today? Yeah. You want to say goodbye to everybody? You going to say goodbye? Huh? You going to say goodbye? You just sneezed. No. You got to say goodbye. Stop. Stop. Nope. Stop. Say what? Good boy.
That's a good boy. All right, everybody. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Take her easy. Goodbye.